Hi guys, I'm Sarah Stretton and we're here with Anatomy of a Movie. Today we're going to be doing some Q&As with the lovely comments that you have left on our YouTube, also on um, through emails. I want to thank you so much. We don't really have time to answer a lot of your comments and questions on the Mothership Show, so we've decided to kind of create our own section for you. So first of all, I want to give a special shout out to Ashley Peterson. She is a tour guide at Warner Bros. Studios, so she's talking about movies all day long too. She wants to thank, she thanked us for what we do here. She called us the movie gods, which I don't know if we quite are, <laughs> but thanks for the compliment. Um, she's a big fan of the Hollywood golden era, and she just thinks that, so I just want to give a shout out to her. Also, if we do any classics, we should definitely bring her on board because she seems to know quite a bit. Also, I'm down for a tour. Well, if Double Indemnity did come out on Blu-ray, so a Ashley, check that out. Yeah. <laughs> so thank you, Ashley Peterson. Also, I want to throw it over to Sherlock Moans, who said, who was mm, talking about um, Need for Speed. He said he watched it three times in one month, and a lot of people were just trying to compare it to Fast and the Furious and say that it was a ripoff. Um, he says it's not. Need for Speed has around, been around since the 90s, and they have made a great movie, in my opinion. So I just wanted to call that out, and I, I think he's right. I think it is good to try and give movies their own standing base and not just try and compare every driving movie to every driving movie and anatomy of movie is all about having a conversation and we want to know your opinions and i think that anything we can learn from the fans is great we're just that's what we are and you know when we did the full dissection on anatomy of a movie for need for speed um it was just dimitri and i that had seen it have has any one of you guys since been able to catch it no, for speed. I no. not. And, you know, for me, again, you can hear all of our comments there, and obviously he, he is responding to that. I enjoyed it, you know. Um, I never made a comp I was making the comparison between that and Fast and the Furious only because that's what the headlines were saying. Hmm. You know, so I was doing it from that factual standpoint. But I absolutely 100% agree. The two are very, very different. Um, and as I said on that show, it felt very much like American Graffiti at the start. And also Need for Speed, we've had the, the game come out, and so it's had a name and a brand since early 90s, and that being compared to the most recent thing that we probably all as a whole have seen is Fast and Furious. So of course, we're probably going to make, people in general are probably going to make that comparison. Gotcha. Some other comments about, we had movie, uh, comments about movies like Veronica Mars, which we covered, Oliver Board. So I want to thank, without remorse, Katrina Emmo, I'm sorry if I pronounced these wrong, and Ed Zarandi. And I also wanted to talk a little bit about Isaac R., who was talking about Mockingjay, one of our favorite films of the year. And he said that what the movie is allowing people to do is give the ability to develop some of the smaller characters mostly because in the books we get so much focus on her and so he really likes that it develops the new and old supporting characters including people like Peta and Gail. And I just thought that was a really good point and it shows the benefits that movies can kind of give you that visual perspective because you're not just seeing it directly out of one person's eyes, you're getting that wide view. So thank you Isaac R. I think that your comment was very smart and guys keep commenting, right? Yeah. Yeah. We love to hear what you have to say. Thank you so much. This is Sarah Stratton, Anatomy of a Movie.